Hey guys, Mark here, and this is a very, very different kind of review from what you're used to seeing on this channel. These are the Drop Labs EP01, and they're a pair of shoes that produce haptic feedback in the soles of your feet so that you can literally feel your music, your movies, or your games. I've been testing these for about a few weeks now, and I gotta say, I'm really impressed with these shoes. They're not for everybody, but they're very impressive nonetheless. I actually had a chance to sit down and talk with Trevor Humphrey, who is the Director of Customer Experience over at Drop Labs, and he had a lot of really awesome stuff to say about what these shoes are all about. So I'm gonna take parts of our chat and intersperse it throughout this review as we go along. Where did this idea to sort of make these shoes come from, or what inspired you guys to actually create these haptic shoes? So the inventor is a musician, and he was at a music studio in New York City, and the bass player was recording his bass part, and there was a loose floorboard on the ground. And so he, the floorboard he was standing on had a lot of sort of range of motion, and it basically shot the bass energy up his foot into his <laughs> legs. And he said, whoa, that feels awesome. Um, and he was kind of a tinkerer and a, you know, an inventor and a musician. So it's like, I got to figure out a way to take this feeling, this sensation on the go. At first glance, the EP01s blend in with a lot of the normal shoes you'd see at a rack at your local shoe store. And I actually think this is a good thing. I don't really want anyone else to know that I'm wearing a cool set of high-tech haptic feedback shoes. This colorway is triple black and it's very stealthy. And aside from the fact that it's a little bit taller than your average sneaker, it's hard to tell that there's anything special going on with them. That is, until you press the button on the back of each of these shoes to turn them on. The EP01s have a circular glowing LED at the back of each shoe to show you that they're turned on. You can change this color or even turn it off in the settings of the app if you want to, but we'll talk more about the app later. Underneath the LED button is a small magnetic charging port that will be used to either charge the shoes or plug it into a PC with a wired connection for zero latency gaming. These shoes are made extremely well. Everything from the box right down to the charging cable seems very well thought out and well designed. The shoe itself feels like it's made from very high quality materials and it definitely doesn't feel cheap at all. But enough about all that, what do the EP01s actually do? Well, once your shoes are turned on and are ready to pair, all you need to do is download the Drop Labs app, pair your sneakers to your phone, and then pair the headphones to the sneakers, which is very easy and it only takes a couple of minutes. The first time I used these to play music, I was blown away. The best way I can describe it to you is that it feels like you're at a concert. And you know those huge subwoofers they have at the front? Well, they're vibrating the floor underneath you. You can feel it in the soles of your feet and even a little bit in your shins, depending on how strong you have the vibration set to. What is it exactly that makes the haptic feedback that comes from these shoes? Is it like a, a subwoofer or something else? It's similar to a subwoofer. So basically there's a small amplifier and a transducer inside the, the shoe. Um, so it's constructed almost like you would construct a subwoofer, but instead of having a speaker cone where the sound uh, sort of gets transmitted, we send that energy into a foot plate in the shoe. So it's built like a speaker all the way until the point where it normally makes sound. And instead of making sound, we're sending that energy into this foot plate that has a little bit of range of motion, similar to the floor, what we were talking about. Uh, and that runs on the bottom of your foot. So you feel that energy in your feet and up into your body. These shoes are a bass head's dream come true. In songs that have really strong bass lines, they feel incredible. You can actually feel the low end kick back at you. And once you get over that initial shock value that you're feet are vibrating, it's actually very immersive. From the app, you can control the intensity of the haptic feedback in the shoes by tapping and dragging in or out. Dragging to the outside increases the intensity and dragging to the inside decreases it. Unfortunately, this app is only available on iOS right now, but it will be coming to Android soon. The app has several different preset filters to choose from that will change up how the shoes respond to sound. There's filters that target the extreme low end, filters that are great for more treble heavy songs, and even filters for things like movies and games, because music isn't the only use case for these shoes. Who do you think these shoes are meant for? Like who's your target market when you, when you wanna sell these shoes? The way I see it today, there's kind of two main groups. Um, it all started with music. So audiophiles will love the shoes. It feels like you're at a concert or at a club. You're feeling the energy of the music in your body. So if you really love music and you really care about audio quality, you're going to start to feel and hear different parts of the mix as you wear the shoes with, while listening to your favorite albums. 
And then the other piece that's really interesting is gaming. The shoes allow you to really get immersed in the game you're playing, especially with VR. Right. Um, but not only are you getting immersed in the experience, you're actually getting environmental information about what's happening in the game. So the shoes are in stereo. Uh, so if I'm playing Call of Duty, for example, and there's gunfire to my right side, I'm going to feel that on the right side of my body and my right foot. While you can just connect these shoes through Bluetooth to a PC, the better option is to buy the low latency gaming package that Drop Labs sells for 24 bucks. That way you can have a wired connection to both the shoes and a pair of wired headphones for a zero latency experience. What Trevor said about playing Call of Duty with the shoes on is absolutely true. Since the shoes are a stereo pair, they give you that extra bit of environmental information to go off of. For me personally, I'm not sure it would improve the way I play by a lot, but it's definitely more immersive to feel the gunfire and explosions in my feet. It's starting to make me really wish I had a full body haptic suit. Are you guys all in on shoes or are you making some other tech products as well that, that sort of uses this technology? So it's a great question. So we actually have patents on uh, 11 different places of the body where we can deliver this haptic sensation. And so we started with the feet. Like I said, the extremities have tons of nerve receptors. So that's a great place to get this sort of input. But, you know, we're thinking down the road of getting more and more towards the sort of ready player one uh, suit, if you will. Uh, yeah. So we're currently working on a couple different things that uh, hopefully we'll be able to share uh, soon um, where we can have different uh, pieces of the body delivering uh, that sensation as well. While the EPO1s are overall an excellent first kick at the can for Drop Labs, this is still a first generation product and those usually come with some caveats. For example, the shoes are definitely heavier than your average pair of sneakers. After having them on for a few minutes, you don't notice the weight as much, but I definitely wouldn't be using these to run on a treadmill unless you really wanted the extra weight to help you exercise, I guess. You can also feel the shoes vibrate a little bit when you walk around, even if the shoes are completely off. It's a bit of an odd sensation, but you do get used to it after a while. The other thing I didn't really love about these shoes is that if you have the intensity up too high, you can definitely hear them rattling on the floor. If they're set to around 50%, you'd have to really listen for it to hear them, but anything above that, and you can definitely start to hear the sound they make when they're vibrating on your flooring. As you might've expected, the Drop Labs EPO1s will cost you quite a bit more than your average pair of sneakers at 300 US dollars. But they actually have a little disclaimer on their site that says if you buy the shoes and you don't like them, you can return them after 30 days for a full refund. It's one of those products that you really have to feel and experience to understand. I think a lot of folks at face value first might not fully understand. Uh, and, and when we, you know, pre-COVID, we would do a lot of trade shows and demos and things. And once we get people in the shoes, they get it. Yeah, uh, yeah. And so <laughs> that's something it has to be sort of experienced to really, um, to really, to really get it. Um, so one thing we're really pushing hard is, you know, we have a 30 day uh, return policy. So we're really encouraging people Try them out. If you don't like it, that's fine. Send them back, no problem. We'll get a full refund. But really, the best way to understand this is to uh, is to get them on your feet and uh, listen or experience your favorite content uh, with them. And um, I think you might be surprised. So yeah, the EPO ones are a pretty niche product, but if you're really into music, I think these are an incredible pair of shoes to own. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to support my channel. And as always, have a great day.